Welcome back to the Mayo YouTube channel, everybody. Today, we're going to start our new series called The Topics of Life. Every week, we hope to have a new video out on a different topic of life. And for this week, we're going to be focusing on stress. Just before we get started, we'd like to thank everybody for all the views and all the likes everybody had on our first video. We really appreciated that, and we look forward to bringing more content to the channel. And so let's get started. To begin, we're going to have a variety of sources for stress. And so us, the fundraising team, we've come together with a whole bunch of different sources of stress. And so one thing here, as you can see with this pencil that somebody fit into and the paper behind it, <laughs> keeping up with grades and studying is a huge source of stress in our line of work. Just I think David like, can relate with the pencil chewing. Me? What about you? Did you guys not do that when you guys were like kids or something? Like, I mean, wow. I think I think I used to do that as a kid, but I honestly don't remember. This this I, pencil looks really chewing, so I'm not really. Yeah, like everybody. I, remember, like, I feel like everybody as a kid like had yeah. chewed a pencil before. I don't know. A lot, a lot of people, a lot of people would have done it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Not anymore, though. You know, there's no. more things that stress you than like graphite poisoning, being <laughs> like succeeding in class and stuff. You know. Like, yeah, for sure. Doing essays on the last day that they're due, that's, you know, I'm stressed with keeping up with grades and studying. Mm -hmm. I think as students, the main source of stress is always going to be keeping up with your grades. And I don't know, that's just like a primary contributor. Yes. No, yeah, I definitely agree. Like, especially being in university, it's hard to keep a balance between school and also your personal life yeah like especially like exactly if you're trying to like maintain a good gpa for like a graduate school right so trying mm -hmm. to maintain that like they could be stressed out easily oh yeah, yeah. and so yeah that just sure to... ties into our second point right about yes. stresses and like your personal life and your relationships like lavanya was talking about yeah this per these two people right here you know like stress <laughs> in your personal life like relationship issues like family issues all of that stuff that can happen a lot especially when everybody's like living really close to each other these days you know like some people like they had to go home for the pandemic you know like so they're living mm -hmm. with their parents like you know maybe sometimes not everyone's eye to eye you know like certain people have like certain habits other people might not be fans of and that can lead to a lot of family disputes the arguments oh, yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah, it's hard to balance everything, like whether it's your yes. personal life mm -hmm. or your work life or just anything, really. It's hard to balance everything. Exactly. Yeah. I think it's hard to balance like our body and our mind because our mind's always constantly thinking about anything that goes on that makes us stressful. And keeping a balance of personal life can do a lot to yourself mentally. I definitely agree with that statement. Because I feel like, I don't know if you guys have heard that thing about the two states thing that we mm -hmm. always hear in sight. Yeah. <laughs> the mind and the body dualism. Yeah. Oh, no. Cartesian yeah, That's dualism. exactly what it reminded me. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> Triggered. Not that again. I'm sorry. I had to. I just had to. It just popped up into my mind. So you don't yeah. have to, though. You don't have to trigger all of us with slight <laughs> flashbacks. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, definitely agree. Personal, like even just balancing stress is huge. Third thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Future plan, and like a lot of people wonder, what am I going to do after undergrad? Oh you know? yeah. like, that that's me. That is me every day. Professional yeah. schools or like graduate yeah. schools you know like plenty yeah. of sleepless nights wondering what the heck am I gonna do with my life you know <laughs> that self-doubt and all you know yeah, yeah. overthinking like every definitely. decision for like one course <laughs> like, if I take this like, course it's like oh no like this is gonna happen I don't know I don't know about you guys but like I'm constantly thinking about the future like what am I gonna do like what are, where do I see myself in like five years like oh do yeah. I love what I mean, I'm gonna do Back. oh god do i love what i'm gonna oh god yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 
that hit home. Oh. Yeah. And then there's the whole overthinking. I'm constantly overthinking everything. That might be the oh, worst nice. part, honestly. Yeah. Every time you do I something, think, you're like, what if yeah. like X happens or like, you know? Exactly. I feel like we overthink because we're that like desperate because we're always hunting for answers mm -hmm. and we like being in control. So I think yes. we want to know uh, what happens before like a big event. And I think that creates us to think so much. And then that creates fear, which leads to anxiety and then depression. So way to bring in more psychology. I know. I mean, <laughs> psychology, let's be real. Everyone here psychology. has to be some form of psych and we're just That's all going to recognize it at some point. <laughs> That's very true. But yeah, about the anxiety thing, definitely. Like all these things, at least like an accumulation. Yeah. Of, like, stressors yeah. and that definitely would trigger things like anxiety like she was mentioning and especially mm -hmm. like depression that is yeah. also another thing that I think stress is a major like contributor to mm -hmm. yes I feel like if we start overthinking then we're basically wasting our time and energy that like prevents us from doing what we want to do and make progress and adapt ourselves in our life yeah. exactly it's really hard to like enjoy the moment you're in when you're constantly stressing mm -hmm. about the future yeah yep i mean it's easier said than done it definitely is yeah for sure and so i guess our next topic as we're presented by this weight scale is being able to balance our life and our schedule right as lavanya said before like Balance your mind versus your body. Balance like mm -hmm. personal life versus academic life. Like work life versus like literally anything else, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It's like, hard to prioritize. Especially these days, we're taking on plenty of work. Like there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. We've got academics. Some people have jobs. Some people have YouTube videos to make. You know. <laughs> really hard wow. to prioritize what we're up what to. a reference david and yeah. on top of that you need to enjoy like you need to have your own leisure time right like you need to do sure. stuff that you want to enjoy yeah come on who would make youtube videos right you know what i mean <laughs> not that we don't like doing it i think this oh is no this is plenty fun of fun thing to do. <laughs> i feel like yeah this is very th therapeutic yep it honestly is but yeah i don't know if you guys have always like heard that saying in movies or like I don't know, older people telling you, but they're always saying how your 20s are like, I don't know, this is the time for you to enjoy your life. Like this is your prime. Yeah. Always. So, I don't always know, say that, that saying always rings back in my head, yeah. you know? And I'm like, yo, I'm not going to like miss out on this because, you know, it's it's the time of your life. Your 20s, yeah, your 20s is supposed to be like where you make your mistakes and like you're not supposed to settle for things. Exactly. Um, so it's like basically a time where you find yourself not to sound yeah. so cliche but yeah I know so it's like crucial to balance everything otherwise like I don't know it's going to be hard for you later hard, yeah. regret yep and just being able to figure out what to do first can be sometimes very very stressful yeah so our next one as represented by Stonk Sky over here is the ability to work during the pandemic and the associated financial issues. And so mm -hmm. there've been plenty of people that have like been laid off since the pandemic began and plenty of people been trying to find jobs, like even if they mm -hmm. haven't had jobs before, like they're just looking for a way to do a little bit of work on the side. But like with the pandemic in the full blow, like it's really hard to find anything these days. Mm -hmm. Like, I definitely feel for those families that where they lost jobs or where they're trying to find jobs and um, maintain, like, have enough money for their, have food on the table for their children. Like, it's definitely hard to um, financially support one another. Yeah, especially yep. like, during the pandemic. You know, a lot of people got laid off. It's yeah, crazy. absolutely. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of financial strain. Mm -hmm. this season or like in the past year 
everyone's been like dealing with some sort of financial issues. Like, I don't know, at least one person that I know has been going through this. So I'm yeah. sure it's very common. And so in terms of like financial issues, like even taxes this time around, oh, it's yeah. so weird to oh, do. Yeah. Because oh like, God. if you apply for any of like the emergency fund benefits and stuff like that, it's like, yeah. oh like, yeah. There's an yeah. added stress of waiting for the T4A to arrive. It's like, uh-oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, Especially like for students, it's definitely yes. hard to work and pay off for school, like tuition fees. Um, and But also finding a job. I know like since like I'm a co-op student, it's definitely hard to find a job and place a term, work term during this pandemic. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I've heard from like a lot of my friends actually about that. They're trying to get like internships and whatnot, but yeah. it's not been as easy as before, you know, because of COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah because, because of COVID, there's like so many restrictions. And so they're only like limiting one position. So it's definitely hard to get into certain jobs. So, you know, to everyone job hunting out there, best of luck and just keep up the Yeah, good luck work. for don't sure. Don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. pushing, you know? Yeah. For sure. And so, we move on to the last source of stress that we're going to talk about today. That being health-related issues and boredom. And so, I don't know about, like, any of you guys, but sometimes I'll just be sitting there, like, playing video games or something. I'll be like... I feel like there's something more productive I should be doing with my time. But then, like, at, on the other hand, like, I'm so tired and I feel like, gosh, I really need this rest, you know? Mm-hmm. You always feel like, oh, shoot, like, I feel like I'm wasting my time right now. Like, yeah. You know, so, like, yeah, but that's another thing about stress. I feel like it makes anyone who has it very, like, lethargic, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I agree. I don't anything. feel like doing anything. Sometimes, exactly. You know? And like just sometimes the boredom of like doing the same thing every day, yeah, just waking exactly. up and oh, like God. the exact yeah. same. Yeah. Sit down, watch a lecture, and just like get up, and like, go to sleep, yeah. like same yeah. thing. <laughs> it feels oh like God. a loop, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's a loop. It definitely I know. does. Are yeah. we trapped in a time loop? Basically. I was thinking that. You know, I found myself wondering that a couple of days ago. <laughs> now we're basically trapped in a time loop until the pandemic ends. I honestly feel like we're in a movie that's just n- never going to end. Mm-hmm. Constantly the same thing, and we don't know what the ending is going to be. Except now it's loose sleep with you, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Lots of those kind of issues going around. The stress then, is always like, I want to be out there doing things, but I can't because I have to yeah. take over the team, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I'd love to go outside and like head to my nearest like favorite restaurant, but that's not happening, you know. And like that's yeah. pretty stressful for a lot of people because like they don't get to do. Let it out, David. Story. I <laughs> mean, let it out. <laughs> saying I haven't been to like my favorite Japanese all you can eat in like a year and a half. It's been insane. Oh, <laughs> I miss like... restaurants a lot. Yeah. yeah. That was the I best like... way to just stress eat. Just shove like fifty things in like your mouth. You know, it's beautiful. <laughs> And now we're going to jump to our ways to cope with stress. And this is kind of like a personalized list that we've all made together of like how we personally deal with stressors. And you know, hopefully by talking about some of these, they'll work for you guys as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so- this beautiful slide. No, no, no. <laughs> made Me by very beautiful and Lavanya. Uh, yes, the one and uh, only. Okay. The slide before was really good. That was slide before, Let us know was- in the comments yeah. which slide yeah. is better. Yeah. Was the coping slide better or was the stressor side slide it's better? It's clearly I, this one, but okay. No, I don't know. Yeah, I think like, it's this one. Eh, I'd rather see the one before, but yeah. Um, yeah. No, I think this all one. All right, let's better. let's let the comments do the talking, all right? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Anyway, so I think the first one at the top left is probably like meditation. And this is something I personally do and it's my personal favorite. And I definitely think everyone should do some form of meditating, like every day if possible, but if not every day, I would say like every other day or even like during exam season, this is very helpful. Like it helps me concentrate and it definitely like takes a lot of stress away from my life. Yeah, I definitely agree with Shad. I think now that exams are coming up, it's definitely hard to cope with your stress. Um, So I think we should try 
some sort of meditation and to just relax your mind like yeah it doesn't have to be long it's like only like five minutes should probably be sufficient also yeah once in a while we should like if you have a backyard or a balcony just like go out there sit out there and just close your eyes for a couple minutes you know yeah i know a lot of people that do like yoga and meditation and they always said like it really helps them a lot so you know to try it out and those suffering with anxiety uh it would definitely help a lot and personally i've taken like courses in meditation and i definitely know the people who show up with like at the workshops they all have some form of like anxiety and their personal like encounters with it they were telling me that it's like very helpful and that they would recommend it for sure so to anyone who has anxiety out there um yeah i definitely would recommend this i think we should all try it oh yeah for sure yeah all right uh i guess our next way to stress is going to be talking about it with each other talking about it with your family and friends I was represented by this picture of these two people, <laughs> this olden days picture. You know, there's a story behind this picture. And while we were surfing through the web for the picture, I don't know, this just, something about it just, you know, spoke family. And then, I don't know, I felt like we needed a vintage vibe to it. So there you go. So what's the story yeah. behind yeah. it? Is there like actually a story behind it? Like, Yeah, uh, I, I don't know what it was about. Oh, the, like the actual backstory of these two people? No, I actually no, don't no. know. Oh, well, you no, know, said there was a story. Uh, I figured, like... Yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, it does look like they have a story, doesn't it? But I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess the story is that they're talking to each other about their stresses, which is helping them cope with their stress. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. leave it at even, that. <laughs> that's definitely even just, a great way. Right. Even back. just venting, venting to, like, if your family and friends honestly just helps coming yeah. from me. <laughs> exactly. Yes. It takes out a lot of anguish. And if you just find someone who's willing to listen, I feel like it's a great way to just yeah. let it all out. Even like yeah. venting to your pet, which goes on to the next topic <laughs> where you can just bond with your pet and just have that one-to-one intimate connection. Yeah, pets in general, I feel like they're a great source of just like, I don't know, happiness and like just, they make your day yeah. in a sense. Yeah, there's something about pets that just makes you forget everything, what you're doing, and just relax. It's like unconditional love from a pet, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess our next way to cope is going to be physical activity and sports. And so as you can see from these two pictures, maybe not so much the first one, but definitely the <laughs> second one, going out for a run. <laughs> Like probably yeah. yourself, like adequately protected, probably would be the better mm-hmm. way to do it. But you know, this <laughs> these pictures are likely taken before the pandemic, so we'll give them a pass. But like, it, <laughs> it's definitely a good thing because, like, you know, a lot of people would say, like, they're stressed out, just go for a walk outside. You know, you get mm-hmm. to interact with like, like the nature outside, and like, it gives you like some yeah. time for yourself. You know, so it's definitely a good way. Yeah, like you get to be away from like your phone and your laptop and you just get to clear your mind while you're on the walk. Especially like some sports with your friends, you know, like you can call some friends over and like play a game of basketball or something. And it can definitely Mm -hmm. be fun. And like, especially if it's your favorite sport, like just play and have a fun time, you know? Well, probably not right now. Take your mind off it. Yeah. Because it feels like pandemic rules and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once the pandemic is over, call all the friends you want. Yes, yes. I think you can still go for a jog though, right? Yeah. I've oh, yeah, seen sure, people yeah. jogging. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Exercise is uh, one of the... As long as you have your mask home. though. Yeah, that's what have I Have your too. mask, everyone. But like and- another way, another way to cope with stress is definitely to like watch some shows or, you know, like watch some movies as you can see. Oh, through, yeah. Like, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a way to de-stress. Netflix and chill, but like over Zoom, most likely. <laughs> it's like um, they give you like, like when you watch like shows or movies, like you get to escape from the reality you're facing. You know what I mean? Like it's a perfect like two hours or however long it is. And then once you're done the show or movie, like you get time to relax and you would have a better way of approaching the problem, you know? Yeah, but- I like I like the way you said it. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I can see how it would help lighten up your mood, especially if you like see something you find funny or just something you like in general. 
But yeah, escape from reality, definitely. There's also that like excitement of that next episode coming out of like your favorite yeah. show or something. Oh you know? yeah, that's yeah, something to for always sure. look forward to. It's a good way to de-stress at the end of a day or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of escapes from reality, I'd say video games are a pretty good way to cope, wouldn't you say? Especially like during the pandemic, if you can't like, like you know, be with your friends in person, you can always play with them through like. PS4, like just basically through video games, like you can talk to online and play a game with them and still have fun. Especially with these days, you know, like the whole Xbox, PS4 debate. No, just pick up a video game and play it, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially the PS5 we... out right now. Oh, yeah. I PS5, Xbox, S1, just doesn't yeah. matter. Just pick up and chill <laughs> and have some fun with your friends. They're getting you know? creamed either way. You guys would get creamed in um, any regardless. So. <sighs> I don't know about that, but we'll see about that. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe one day we'll have more than a scriblio battle. <laughs> well, hey, that's yeah. a video game. What do you want to play, Call of Duty? Then I mean, any if you want. I mean, like I can pick up. All right. I haven't played that game like any of the Call of Duties in years, but you know. Yeah, I definitely think another way to cope is giving yourself like self care. Um, oh yeah for sure like facials or like giving yourself like a bath or even I know for like us girls we like like to go and get our nails done like the small things that help us um de-stress is definitely yeah just get a spa day at home you can also make like those facials at home also like you know those yeah you can find a bunch of things online that will tell you how to make it at home and then you can just DIY it there's a lot of home remedies like that we don't really need to go out and get certain things done exactly it would be a nice fun way especially with like your family if you want to do a spa day that would be yeah like having more time with family that also helps hey while we're on the top topic of self-care you might as well like wash your hands really really (laughs) well you know just because these days there's a little bit of germophobia going on in some people (laughs) That's true. I mean, you should wash your hands well regardless, though, David. Yeah, so I guess that counts as self-care, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. You should treat yourself with a nap. That's another way to cope oh. with stress. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the best yeah. one. You know, taking Sometimes a couple hours off of your day, you know, <laughs> sleeping early. Yeah. I think the best way is to just sleep it off, sleep off the stress, and then wake up feeling yeah. a bit more better yep yeah yep. that actually does work though that's a really really good way to i don't know sometimes whenever i feel like too much to do just go and take a nap come back right and you get to re-strategize approach it from a mm-hmm. different angle yeah i think overall stress can mean like different things to different people and it can impact people differently so what is stressful to you might not be stressful to like your friends and family. So I feel like everybody has their own idea of what stress is to them. Which yeah. is why it's really important for you to kind of like figure out your own ways to cope, you know, and like everyone does have their own ways to cope, you know, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, just adding on to what Lavanya said though, I feel like if one does feel stressed, they should just you know, not pay attention to everyone else defines the stress. And if exactly. someone just dismisses your concerns, I feel like you shouldn't listen to them because at the mm-hmm. end of the day, you know yourself better than anyone else. So it's important yeah. to take care of yourself. Yeah. Like a lot of the stress comes from like conversations that we don't really have with ourselves. And like we said before, I think it's better to talk it out with the people around you to feel a bit more or less to stress it's important yeah. to talk to the right people as well though people who you can you know actually be vulnerable with yeah like mm-hmm. you should find the right person to talk to because some people they're not exactly the right people to share your concerns with so that's if you, important if you, if you don't know who to really talk with like people near you you can also always talk to like student health lines you know what i mean like uh good to talk is one but like there's always people like you can call and talk to them and talk about your problems and then they can help you and try to come up with the resolution and stuff. 
UTSC's resources, Navi, MySSP, you know, those are good places to check out too. Health and Wellness Center, places like that. And so, yeah, unless we have any other sources of stress we want to mention, I think that about does it for this episode. But so, the, wait, 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 the last, but the most wait. important way to cope with stress is food. I think this one's more universal than any of the other ones. Any kind of food that, like, you feel is delicious is a de-stressor. Yes. It's an instant mood change. Just like, yeah. Yeah. In a way, you're, like, treating yourself. So, like, a lot of people just tend to stress eat. I feel like when you're hungry, it. it's worse if you're stressed and you're hungry. Yeah. That's, like, a bad combination. Never do your when, like When you're, like, tired and stressed and irritated, the best way is to just eat. Even cooking food might be like, you know, another way for you to personally cope with stress. Besides yeah. eating, cooking could also help you. Cooking therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I can guarantee that. You can always put whatever you want and, you know, like, put more of your favorite ingredients. David's like a chef here. He has the... Oh, best everyone's dishes. a pandemic chef. Come on. <laughs> um... We'll have One a of these of days, we should have a video of David showing you guys how to prepare a meal. Oh my god. Like a recipe. We would love That'd be fun. Yeah. David teaches us how to cook. Possibly. Maybe forward to that in the future. In our, like, repertoire videos. But definitely, it's important to not overeat when you do de-stress with food. It's, there are plenty of, like, negative that affects if you overeat. Of course. Just be a little bit mindful. have a healthy relationship with food. Just make sure you don't overdo it. Because sometimes you take in too many nutrients. It's not good. There know? is nothing that ice cream cannot fix, though. Just from personal. Oh, there is God. something that too much ice cream can't fix. Well, not too <laughs> much. But, you know, sometimes it's just you need yeah. it. Yeah. No, no, no. A bit of ice cream is great. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't like ice cream, right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh. And so, yeah. That's going to do it for all our stressors. All right. So we'd just like to thank everyone for watching. Our next episode may be on friendship. So hopefully we look forward to getting that recorded and produced and edited as soon as we can. And without further ado, um, we're going to sign off. Let us know if you were enjoying this, by the way, the topics of life series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please let let us know. know. We should make more because leave a comment this has been a great way to de-stress you know so maybe by leaving a comment you'll be you know telling other people about your stressors or how you de-stress maybe something like that feel free to do that as well and yeah i guess we'll see everybody next time and thank you again for watching bye bye bye